What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Marvel's Avengers free roam video. Now in this video we're going to be playing as the next Spidey. We already did Tom Holland's Civil War Spidey which is awesome and I absolutely love playing as him. But right now we're playing as Miles Morales. Now you're probably thinking, okay, where's his costume? I'll show you. That's right people, Miles Morales can transform into his civilian clothes and of course his costume and I'm just, I'm blown away, <laughs> I'm blown away and of course you know if we're going to play as Miles we should probably put Peter in his costume as well, that's right they brought back that feature for Peter as well, I am so happy, I was worried that we're going to forget about that and not bring back you know the ability to transform into their secret identities because I loved that so much and to see that it's back in this DLC it makes me so happy. Now Miles, I was wondering are they going to adapt his abilities? You know, because in the comics he has a few different abilities to Peter. One of which is, uh, if I press it, invisibility. So he can actually turn invisible, which is extremely cool. But also, he has this, which he can do as well. Which is pretty awesome. I mean, no other Spidey can do that, um, you know, from what I've seen. And then, of course, you know, he can also do the slingshot move, which we learned at the very end of the Civil War Spidey video, which I was just blown away by. I mean, I couldn't believe it when I found out he could do that. Now, I don't think he'll have any special moves. I mean, he might. I'll try. Oh, he just did it invisible. Okay, cool. Uh, but let's try this energy blast thing. Ready? Okay. Alright, so it, it seems to... I don't think it defeats them, I think it just damages them, that's interesting. Cheers! But let's uh, let's go for a swing about as Miles, because Miles Miles is an awesome Spidey, you know. He was definitely the one I wanted to show next, uh, because I, I love Miles. And actually, I think this might be the very first time in a video game where you don't just play as Miles as a costume, you know. It's Miles Morales' costume from the Ultimate Comics. It's been in a lot of Spider-Man games and a lot of Marvel games, but I think it's always just been a costume. You know, I don't think it's been anything more than that. And in this game, you know, you're not just playing as a costume. You know, if I want, I can go like this and turn into Miles Morales whenever I want. I mean, that's that's pretty awesome. you got to give them that. I mean, I never thought they would actually let Miles be able to turn into his civilian clothes. So that's made me very happy. Now, he can, of course, turn invisible when he's doing this as well, which is nice. Uh, he's also got some pretty cool melee attacks. Which I'm surprised about, you know, so he doesn't just fight like a normal person. I think Peter does. Um, actually, I don't think Peter fights at all, but we'll, we'll show more of Peter in the next video. So he does that, which is pretty cool. Uh, he can't climb walls when he's Miles Morales, which is which is fine. It makes sense. Uh, I don't want people to see my secret identity, so I'm going to do it over here. But he can, I think, climb walls. Well, I would, as, I would hope he can, as in the costume. There you go. See, look at that. That's just, that's just amazing, isn't it? Isn't that cool, being able to climb walls like this? I, I tell you what, you know, I'm, I know we've been waiting for Spider-Man for a long time, you know, to come to this game. We, Some of us lost hope and stuff like that. But I'm going to say it right now, it is so worth the wait. I mean, they added so much, you know. I was actually expecting them to just do copy and paste sort of thing, and that sounds really mean and stupid. Um, but I just thought, you know, what they're going to add to them besides wall crawling. And to see, you know, they've given Miles his invisibility and his charge attack. And also, you know, he can climb walls like this. And then, I mean, this speaks for itself. No one, no one I know expected that. And I guarantee, if I, you know, ask people about this DLC and say, did you expect that to be in the game? No one will say, yeah, yeah, of course I expected that. That, that is a really, a, really surprising addition to the game, and I'm so glad it's there. I really am. So let's go fight some more crime. I think we should go see Moon Knight. I think that would be cool. We go meet Moon Knight. Where is Moon Knight? He should be down here somewhere. I think he's down here. He's some. He's around here somewhere. I'm sure. Just gotta look. Uh, let me see. Where are you, Moon Knight? Where are you? Moon Knight, where are you? Seriously, man, where are you? <laughs> I can't find you. Uh. Actually, I think he might be down here. Let's have a look, shall we? Anything. And it's obviously, you know, it's still so much fun to swing around in this game. 
Uh, it's the, it seems like it's the exact same swinging mechanics from the first game, which I have no problem with whatsoever. I mean, I love the swinging mechanics in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, so to see them return is great. Oh, there's Moon Knight. Awesome. I'm gonna, uh, I wanna team Miles up with Kamala Khan. Where's, where's she at? Let's go into the, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, E, F, G, H, I, where's I, uh, J, where's, where's Kamala? Where you at, Kamala? Oh, there she is. Oh, okay, so she's in the M's because she's a Miss Marvel. Yeah, I want to team these two up because they're, they're a really cool team up. Right, they don't do anything special. It's just I think they're I think they're good friends in the comics or something, I think, if I remember correctly. I uh, could be wrong. I haven't read Miles Morales okay, in a while. You got me. I probably don't need to... Okay, let's do it. Let's uh, go help Moon Knight. Come on, Kamala. Let's go! It's so much fun to swing around in this game. And of course, you can hang upside down. Of course you can. I mean, it's awesome. Look at that. It's so cool. I mean, honestly, what they've done is they've basically, you know, brought back... Uh, Spider-Man from Lego Marvel Super Heroes and thought, right, what was missing? Climbing walls, some launching ability, all that kind of stuff. I mean, he does everything you'd want him to do, to be honest. I'm gonna use my charge attack. I said I want to use my charge attack. There we go. Okay, so he does defeat them. That's nice. If I go invisible, can they see me? Wow. Alright, that's cool. So, Eve, so when you go invisible, they can't actually see me. That's nice. I was just wondering if it was for effect, or if it was for, you know, the, 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 uh, what, what they call those cameras where, you know, they can see you and they lock doors and stuff. I thought it was all about that. But I guess not. Okay, let's try this again, but this time, way better. Cool. Alright. Now, I'm wondering, because in my last video, I did, um, also, if you listen, actually, hang on a second. Hang on, wait, do it again. I wish that guy would stop talking. Hang on. Yeah. So, Miles actually has different grunts and stuff, so they give him a different voice and that. So you're not playing as Peter Parker with a costume. You're playing as Miles Morales, which is just so cool, man. I mean, it's so cool. Now, yeah, what I was saying in the last video was I thought that Tom Holland was voicing Spider-Man. I'm starting to believe I was wrong, because if he was, then I doubt, you know, won't, you know, TT Games would say, Hey, Tom, can you come in and do some grunts and stuff for this game, and that's it, and not talk? I doubt they would do that. I think they'd probably want him to talk, and honestly, I think he'd probably do a level. But the reason I was getting so excited is because Tom Holland put on his Instagram page that, um... That he was, you know, he's like, what did he say? Guess what I'm recording or something? And then he was in like this little audio booth where you would, you know, do uh, voice work and things. And to the right of him was this cup and it had the Warner Brothers logo on it. So I kind of put two and two together and immediately assumed that he was doing I voice work for that. this. But I, I think I was wrong. Was a classy but it doesn't matter. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, you know, the voice they got for the grunts and stuff, he sounds kind of like Tom, so... It's cool. You know, it's really cool. What does, uh... Probably shouldn't do this, because <laughs> I'm revealing... Actually, you know what? To be realistic, this is what I'll do. Criminal activity taking place I will take off my suit the the around the back like this, and... Okay, cool. I want to see if, uh... If Miles has any cool abilities, you know, when he's not in the suit. That'd be great to see. Okay. Alright, cool. So he, he just does the kind of generic stuff. Still. I mean, he can go invisible. That's pretty sweet. I love how they've actually included Miles as Miles. I mean, not just his costume, Miles in itself. I mean, that's amazing, guys. That's really, really impressed me. I wasn't expecting Miles. I was hoping for him, but I was thinking, nah, they're not going to do that. If they do any character, it'll just be Spidey. But no, they did both, which is fantastic. It's fantastic. Climbing walls, cause I'm Spider-Man. I don't want to play as anyone else now, except Spideys. All the Spideys you get, uh, I just want to play as them. Take that! And they've definitely improved them. I mean, I, I you know, the the only main reason I've been, you know, I, I play Lego Marvel superheroes now would be maybe to play as a Fantastic Four and X Men, but I don't really play as them much to be honest. Um, but the main reason was Spidey. You know, that was like I would occasionally go back to it just so I could play as Spidey. Now I don't need it. I don't need to play Spidey at all because I've got this. Um, you know, there was two costumes uh, that were in that game: Future Foundation, which is eh, it's all right. I mean, it's not a big deal for me, and Symbio. Symbio would have been a nice addition. 
mission, but I'm not bothered since it's not here. It doesn't doesn't bother me in the slightest. Sorry, Camilla, my bad. Looks like my informant's a careful guy. Or is he testing us? Okay, I think that's it. I think that's it for Miles' walk, uh, little walkthrough of Moon Knight's side quest. Mr. Tittles? It was Mr. Tittles all along! <laughs> yeah. Alright. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the Miles Morales video. I mean, I'll get on this... Uh, Get on, on top of here. I want to climb that. Can I climb? Yes, look at that. It's so cool. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. I dare anyone to say they're not having fun with this DLC pack right now. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for Miles Morales. I mean, honestly, I think he's awesome. I think he's extremely cool. You know, all the Spideys you get in this pack, they're roughly the same, but they all have their own little abilities. You know, some of them transform into their alter egos. Some of them can turn invisible and do power blasts. You know, there's lots of really nice, cool little additions that makes them unique from one another. Alright guys, so I want to thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon and as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.